Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the news hour at nine, and we have a big breaking story coming up for you. Uh, the big breaking story is about Mehul Choksi and Mehul Choksi, who has been spotted in Dominica. Strange circumstances where he has been found in Dominica, and there is a mystery woman connection to uh, Mehul Choksi that has come to light of the. Uh, investigation agencies uh, on the news are tonight uh, myself and nikunj garg will bring you the biggest scoop straight from the caribbean and we will tell you what this mehul choksi saga is all about he went missing in antigua found in dominica another island close by in the caribbean in fact tonight i will tell you about the last person choksi was seen with yes viewers there is an emergence of a mystery woman who was with mehul Mehul Choksi, a mystery woman in her late twenties, going by the name Barbara Jones. Barbara Jones. I repeat, her name is Barbara Jones, and she was found with Mehul Choksi. Details that intelligence agencies have come up with is that this woman has been in contact with the Mehul Choksi over the last one year, and uh, in this period. What are her connections? Have there been any financial dealings between the two? Is subject matter of investigations at the moment? Tonight we will talk about this big financial link between Barbara Jones and Mehul Choksi, uh, and what exactly did she bring to the table as far as Mehul Choksi is concerned? Uh, joining me tonight is Nikunj Garg, internal security editor. Thank you, Nikunj, uh, for joining me. And Nikunj, uh, when it comes to Mehul Choksi, uh, it is uh, years of investigation that has finally made him uh, available to Indian agencies. But even now, uh, it is a tense face-off that we are looking at. Tense because Mehul Choksi is in Dominica. Will Dominica send him back to India or to Antigua? That's the big question. Well, absolutely, Navika. <laughs> Both the info. And the Central Bureau of Investigation have done painstaking investigations over a stretching over a period of close to five years now, uh, where they have been able to convince the international policing organization Interpol to have suitable lookout notices, color notices against this individual, on the strength of which he is today detained in Dominican Republic. Uh, however, the top sources in the government of India, whom I have spoken through the day, indicate the next 72 hours are going to be quite critical, as you were indicating, a tense face-off kind of situation, because India has to convince Dominican Republic that look here, this Interpol red, uh, Interpol corner notice, that is, uh, in this case, color notice of yellow, uh, has been issued on the strength of the case that India has built. And it is an international notice. It is not uh, limited only to Antigua. And this gentleman, to begin with, is an Indian citizen. So, if any nation, any jurisdiction has any claim over him, it's India. So, attempt right now is uh, to get him deported directly. To, uh, and top sources did inform me this morning that next 72 hours, which is still the weekend time, is extremely crucial. One uh, aspect that they are concerned about, I will not say they are worried about, because we have an independent case. Backed by our own investigation, but they are concerned about his future legal hurdles. Just as we saw one lawyer emerging, I am not saying that Mr. Choksi has no right to legal defence even for a moment, but that makes the task of the Indian jurisdiction and agencies more tricky. And just as we saw a lawyer emerging today and saying that his uh, rights are being violated, Indian agencies then will have to convince uh, necessarily Dominican courts as well if the matter is allowed to approach the courts. That is. So that is a matter of concern. Nonetheless, agencies are quite hopeful. Government of India is actually quite hopeful that in the next 72 hours, some positive news can be built around uh, this entire development of seeking Mehul Choksi's deportation from a country where he has no business of being, uh, neither from the point of view of an artificial created citizenship, nor from the purpose of any kind of business activity. 
Well, uh, let me let me first go across uh, that uh, uh, scoops that we have got at this moment. Uh, the last person that Mehul Choksi was seen with was Barbara Joes. European girl in her late uh, 20s or early 30s is what uh, we've been told. Uh, the mystery woman, uh, the fact is, are there any financial connections between Mehul Choksi and her? Uh, what are the dealings of uh, uh, Mr. Choksi with this uh, mystery woman? The fact is that this mystery woman was seen uh, uh, with the Mehul Choksi at Jolly Point because uh, Dominica does not have an airstrip. He's come to that island uh, by boat. Uh, when he approached uh, this island, he was seen throwing some papers into the sea. Uh, you know, what was in those uh, papers? And also, uh, the big question that is being asked at this moment is, was this girl an accomplice? Will India seek uh, for her uh, deportation or uh, look at uh, uh, some some sort of connection between Mehul Choksi uh, and herself uh, and, and the time and the timing of when he's been seen in her company? Uh, well, uh, on 23rd of May was... Uh, uh, Mehul Choksi's last spotting and he was seen in a restaurant and in this restaurant as reported in several uh, dailies newspapers in Dominica Barbara Joes was with Mehul Choksi uh, this is the big point that is being looked at by uh, intelligence agencies and she was with Mehul Choksi when he was found on the 26th of May so remember between the 23rd and the 26th of May, uh, the intelligence agencies have been working with the investigation agencies and they have seen Barbara George over three days uh, in the presence of Mehul Choksi and, and that really uh, has been the entire process of, uh, you know, nailing down Mehul Choksi in Dominica. Uh, any information, Nikunj, that you have uh, from investigation agencies on what transpired in these three days when Mehul was, uh, Choksi was last spotted with Barbara Joes on the 23rd of May and finally when he was caught on the 26th of uh, May? Well, Navika, quite clearly the Indian agencies, uh, whatever presence they have uh, in the nearby stations, uh, have been trying to keep a very close watch on Mehul Choksi. Remember, he is one of India's most wanted and accused, who is accused of carrying out one of the biggest banking swindle, not only in the history of independent India, but also up to one of the biggest banking fraud across the country. And it is extremely important that it, India brings him back and his uh, you know, relative Neera Modi, who is actually uh, incarcerated in a prison in London for a very, very long time to make sure that the world realizes that Indian banking traditions and Indian banking systems cannot be defrauded and uh, taken a right for. So his movements have been watched over a substantial period of time. And when any kind of suspicious movement have, has been noticed, he has been tailed uh, in the recent past. Quite clearly, there is an attempt which appears to be uh, to, uh, you know, to kind of ward off that tail uh, on Mehul Choksi's part, which seems to have gone horribly wrong in this case, because he has found to be in a, found to be in a place where he has no business of being with, and the country uh, effectively uh, not uh, providing him any kind of cover in terms of citizenship or as in permit. And Indian agencies have got their golden chance. So uh, if, if things go normally from here on, Navika, if things go, uh, do not, uh, you know, get disturbed drastically from here on, then in the next 72 hours, as I said, uh, India should be in a position to at least um, uh, muscle the re required requirements of a deportation that is uh, sending the regular team, sending the paperwork, which is being sent in advance, and uh, finally the vehicle for his journey back home. So next 72 hours are crucial. By Sunday, by the end of weekend, we should have a clearer picture. My own sense is that the Interpol color notice is going to be India's biggest weapon in convincing the Dominican Republic that there is an international lookout notice for this individual and do not therefore restrict it to the jurisdictions uh, and jurisdictional issues between you and Antigua, whose prime minister is, of course, on record in saying that he should be sent back directly to India. So it looks like a favorable case at this point in time. Uh, but there are many uh, legal wrangles can, that can certainly uh, crop up in issues. So therefore, everyone in the establishment working hard and keeping their fingers crossed.
Well, uh, let me get in Siddhant Mishra, who's been in touch with the Antigua Prime Minister himself. Uh, uh, Siddhant, uh, uh, Mehul Choksi had an escape plan. He wanted to flee to Cuba from Antigua. In fact, caught from the Canefield Beach in Roseau. Uh, he traveled in a boat, North Dominica, does not have an airstrip where he was actually found. And just when he was arrested, he was seen throwing some documents into the sea. Uh, clearly, these may have been... Uh, it's just a conjecture at this moment, but he may have been in possession of certain financial documents, uh, documents that may have given up his escape plan or uh, availability of funds for him to possibly survive wherever he wanted to escape, maybe to Cuba, as it is uh, being seen. Uh, and, and the fact that the Indian agencies, the Indian government is now looking for a legal solution uh, that Dominica is the place from which uh, uh, Mehul Choksi is brought back into India and he doesn't get transferred back to Antigua, even though there are noises of that kind that are being made by the Dominican uh, uh, government. How do you think at this point in time, uh, these Caribbean countries can come in uh, because uh, India has some relationship with these Caribbean countries where vaccine metri has uh, clearly sent across uh, uh, some goodwill uh, to be able to get some response from these countries? Uh, we had really good relationship with uh, both the countries, Antigua and uh, Dominica. In the past, we had helped them monetarily also. And we know that how Prime Minister Modi sent vaccines uh, to uh, to both the countries. Now, Navika, as Nikunj was mentioning, next few hours are going to be really critical because, uh, because on one end where both the governments are collaborating and they are cooperating with each other, on the other end, the lawyers, the lawyers that Mehul Choksi uh, has hired are trying to derail and disturb this entire procedure, Navika. And this I would like to uh, put on record because I have managed to speak to some of the lawyers of Mehul Choksi. I had a very small conversation with them and they have told me and they are uh, putting out this theory that Mehul Choksi was abducted from a restaurant in uh, in Antigua. He was taken uh, by seven to eight people. Some of those people were speaking uh, English, but they had an Indian accent and he was taken on a boat to uh, uh, to uh, Dominica. He was kept in a police station and then later he was taken to a military area where he was denied uh, lawyer access and any sort of access of family members. So this is a theory that Mehul Choksi's lawyers are pushing at this point in time completely to derail this entire process and to make it look the way that it is a planned, uh, uh, it was a planned abduction by governments to make him extra, to, uh, to, uh, to you know, uh, to trap him and to send him back to the India. But the fact remains, Navika, even you have spoken to people in uh, in the government and Nikunj has spoken to people in agencies. He took that boat and he was found at one of the posh beaches of uh, Dominica, you know, uh, kind of uh, throwing away some documents, papers, and he was spotted there. And what about the mystery woman he was meeting there? So definitely he was trying to, uh, uh, you know, uh, to destroy some crucial uh, case-related files, some files related to his financial transactions, the money that he has laundered over the years. And Navika, he has paid the government of Antigua to uh, buy the citizen citizenship. It was a, it, it was an artificial citizenship but and he was surviving living a luxury it's getting life. It's getting interesting even as we speak. Even as we speak, the government, I am just getting information, the government is looking uh, to break the legal logjam to find a solution. Uh, while we are speaking here, uh, we know our sources in the government are negotiating with the government of Dominica. They're making it a little difficult, uh, possibly posturing at this point in time. But as uh, Nikunj also pointed out, uh, there can be many a slip. So let's just keep our fingers uh, crossed and, and wait for the final word to come in. But uh, will we get uh, hold of Mehul Choksi? That's the big question. And that's what we are waiting for at this moment. Uh, let me go across uh, to our guest joining us tonight. Guru Prakash, national spokesperson of the BJP. Also joining me, Ishkaran Bhandari, advocate. But my first question goes to Tehseen Punawala. Tehseen Punawala. The government getting close to uh, 
inches away from getting the deportation of Mehul Choksi. Would you like to congratulate uh, the government or at least wish them well at this moment when we are at the cusp of getting the most wanted uh, fugitive of India, a man who has been helped by the UPA government not only with loans that came, the overvaluation of assets that he gave as security and of course various kind of schemes uh, 8 by 20 and 20 by 20 kind of schemes that were given to him, uh, you know, almost after uh, election results and, and in the change of the government. They're seen Punawala, chickens have come home the to roost. The man who, Doklas have come home to roost. The man who was invited for Chai Pei Chatta, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's house, who Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed as Mehul Bhai Chopsi, Maru Bhai. But let's come to the larger picture, ma'am. I have learned you are either pregnant or not pregnant. You cannot be almost pregnant and therefore there is no almost congratulations. When and if and when Mehul Bhai Choksi, Prime Minister's good friend who eats in love with Prime Minister, is caught, of course I will congratulate the Prime Minister and ask that when he was invited to the Prime Minister's house, how, how was his loan being over green and therefore he got what, therefore he got the benefit of all, of, uh, therefore he got the benefit of what the scams that he did. Ishkaran Bhandari, 900 chuhe kha ke billi haj ko chali. Achhi kahamat hai, Hindi mein. Uh, you know, putting the blame on the Prime Minister. See, if what the lawyer for Mehul says that the government of India was doing an extraction like Israelis, I for one would be very happy. It may not strictly be legal, but I would have no qualms about government extracting a fugitive who has stolen thousands of crores of Indian money by a process of extraction which is very gung-ho. Secondly, if Mehul Chokski ran away from Antigua himself, that shows how much pressure was built up on the Antiguan government, how diplomatic channels were working, that he had to flee from that country because he knew his extraction was imminent. And why only this? Nirav Modi's seven bail applications have been rejected. Anybody who knows law knows how difficult it is to keep a person in jail for a crime done in a foreign country in London. Not only that, uh, this guy, Vijay Malia, he's lost in all courts and now it's a diplomatic thing going on. Some secret proceedings are going on. So not only this, Christian Michael from Dubai, which was supposed to be a very Pakistan-friendly destination, from there also you have got. So not only this case, we have case after case where diplomatically and legally in very difficult circumstances, quite different from how Congress used to allow people to escape from India after Bhopal cash tragedy and not force them to come back to India. We are having all four cases going rather well under adverse circumstances. So I think on this unqualified, unhindered compliments to the government. We, we oppose them often enough, we criticize them, but on these legal cases, they are spot on. Ma'am, can you just ask the BJP representative if he knows who Barbara Joseph is, whose best friend she is, whose daughter-in-law's best friend she is, just ask him. He'll be stunned. Give the answer whose daughter-in-law's best friend she is. Ask the BJP. The audience will come to know. Anyone who knows who Barbara Joseph is knows whose best friend she is, whose daughter-in-law's best friend she is. All the pictures... Well, don't, are don't, media. don't, don't... You seem to know her very well, Taisin Punawala. Uh, and she's not Joseph, uh, she's Joes. Yeah, yeah, you know that. All absconders and their associates, all fugitives and their associates are known to you, Taisin Punawala. Why don't you go ahead and give this information to CBI or the Enforcement Directorate? Are you please, Modi ji will know it. Mehul Bhai Chokti was eating Dokla with him. He was welcoming Modi Mehul Bhai Chokti. You know, he knows you know, considering you know all the Barbaras of the world, you know all the Barbaras of the world, why don't you spill the beans, Tehsin Poonawala? They have the, they'll have the WhatsApp chat, don't worry about it, it'll all come out, it'll all come out who's best friend she is, but more than that, okay, well, Prime Minister, well, Prime well, Prime well Prime if you, Prime if you now, don't have much to that. add, if you don't have Please much to add, then maybe Minister wait for the summons when they come from the Enforcement Directorate or the CBI when Barbara Jose's uh, connections to this case come out. Uh, but in the meantime, let me get in Guru Prakash. Mr. Guru Prakash, intent, when it is there, things happen. Unlike in the Congress uh, period when we've seen Anderson being let off, virtually being given a 
chartered plane to leave Bhopal and then leave Delhi and uh, you know go, get away from India. You know, in this case, in this case, uh, you know, there are several charges against Mehul Choksi from bank fraud up to uh, you know giving uh, gold schemes. Uh, which were uh, absolutely uh, not okay for the customers and, and hoodwinking customers who took part in the Gitanjali schemes. It's all out there in the charge sheets uh, that are ready with all uh, investigation agencies. Mr. Guru Prakash, uh, can the government, after coming this close to getting him back home, uh, ensure that he will be brought home as soon as possible? Uh, Navika ji, we must understand that today's progress, today's development and a very strong statement by the Antiguan Prime Minister, it is a product of sustained efforts of Indian investigating agencies. We are aware that Enforcement Directorate and Central Bureau of Investigation That's have been after him for more than three years. And I'm just surprised and astonished at the behavior of my friend who is supposedly supporting the Congress party. Let me remind my dear friend that it is well known that it the Nirav Modi scam, it happened under UPA regime. Also, who is Mr. Abhay Thipse? Can I ask him who is Mr. Abhay Thipse? He deposed in favor of Nirav Modi at the UK court, but never disclosed party political affiliation, either in the report's biography or in relation to his declaration as an excerpt. So I seriously doubt if Mr. Tessin Punawala or any Congress party representative has any local standi to speak on this issue. This is beyond my comprehension. We must understand one thing, that under Prime Minister Modi, every fugitive, they must understand that India is no longer a banana republic, where this unholy nexus of businessmen and political parties, we all know who is part of in the panel, they can go freely to any country after taking the hard-earned money of the middle-class Indians. It is not going to happen anymore, sir. So I'm sure, let's wait for a couple of days. It's going Charges to be a victory well, of Indian investigating agencies, the judicial process, the constitutional values, and 130 crore Indians. I'm sure. So let's just wait and watch Navita, but uh, we must have faith in our investigative agencies. May I ask my friend from the BJP very humbly that if this scam happened under the Congress regime, why was Prime Minister Modi inviting uh, Mehul Bhai Chokti for... The day, the day you give an explanation to this country on why Mr. Rahul Gandhi was parting with Mr. Nirav Modi, you have the right of asking questions and explanations from anybody else. Before that, I think, I think you should just, you should just cut your losses because when Mehul Choksi comes back and is brought back to India, he will have a pleasant stay in the jails of India and that's when he will begin to spill the beans on how it all happened and who were the people who actually helped Mehul Choksi. Because just the Mehul Choksi story is not enough for Indian citizens here. What they are waiting for is Mehul Choksi to be brought back to India to face the Indian law, the Indian courts and answer the questions on who was helping him in defrauding Indian banks and the way he defrauded and conned Indian citizens into buying some of the products and schemes that his company floated. That's what India is waiting for and that is what we're hoping Mehul Choksi will come back and pay for and all the big wigs who helped him in this loot of India. Thank you very much to my panelists for joining me on debate number one and the big scoop of the time on Mehul Choksi, Barbara Joes, the mystery woman connection, financial links to Mehul Choksi under the lens of investigation agencies.